good morning to another day at the beach house build how are you all sorry about the wind but the wind is essential today um beautiful day in paradise today what are we doing we're doing the barbecue and we're finishing off the beams um beams the inner sides of the the, the sliding doors um and maintenance general maintenance so it's that time of month where we need to get around and lubricate everything clean everything get the rust off everything and protect everything if you don't do that here everything dies including people so anyway before i start carry on gassing if you don't mind obviously give me that thumbs up below and subscribe if you haven't subscribed before again the last couple of days some real new uh people coming to the channel which uh, is great to see and some great feedback coming through um i think we've gone up by about another 10 15 in the last couple of days which is great so more value to add um and uh, more information to be shared hopefully from you guys to me as well as from me to you so what are we doing let me spin it around at the moment we are cladding the back of here so as you know we've actually done the concrete um, board around the carcass not that it's very pretty so my advice to you guys is that concrete board is the best product but it is always bent it's horrible in material it's not very smooth you have to prime it and paint it so on and so forth so i would suggest that probably moisture resistant marine board uh, sorry moisture resistant mdf is probably the best thing for this um, obviously you could do it out of uh, marine board um, but marine board has again got to be painted and finished smooth uh, whereas the MDF is already smooth so they've both got to be um, painted both primed and painted but one will obviously be um, one will obviously be nice and smooth and one will need smoothing so what we're just doing at the moment we've mounted these now we're just cutting out this letter box uh, we're mounting the top piece um, or and it's just obviously cut the concrete board pieces that need to go into here so we need to mount two bits that go in here and a bit that goes in here for the top piece to go in across um, which will obviously be cladded like so that'll be cladded like that sorry it's a bit close and then the letterbox part will be the same but that bit will come out so that we can actually remove the drip tray there's the bits already pre-cut orange ready to go with the concrete board so we're going to fix those first and then we'll fix these ugly looking primed concrete sheets now that's about as nice as you get it by the way on the concrete board front one side is like that quite rough and one quite one side is smoother it's not smooth but it's smoother so this will be the fixed piece that will go on the top and this will become the letterbox as we called it nicknamed it which will be the bit we'll eventually have two little handles on here with the cladding on it like so um, and uh, that will be removed in order to access the rear for maintenance so yeah obviously far from being finished but obviously this will obviously finish the back bit will make it look a lot more pleasant so when it is put to one side at least it doesn't look like an absolute eyesore not that i'm saying coyman's logo is an eyesore but i'm sure there's better things to stare at than coyman's um so yeah the cladding will look nice and then we're still waiting for coyman's to get in the corian sheets i don't know what's going on but apparently there's a corian shortage so around the world we've got bread issues bread shortages fruit shortages and corian shortages I'm not too sure what the hell's going on there but anyway barbecue is in we've got the lights obviously connected up um we've managed to get it de-rusted already bear in mind obviously <laughs> it's only been there two seconds and it's rusted already so uh yeah if you're going to do it certainly in barbados it looks like you're gonna have to use a bloody expensive one because i can't see this lasting very long even if i keep up the maintenance and the spraying or whatever else um and again because i've obviously modified the barbecue this is the barbecue sheet that it comes with which obviously is massive because it's meant to go over the whole thing including the side pieces and the base and i only need a bit to go over that so I might have to see if I can butcher that somehow and then get it sewn and potentially have something that goes over it that at least keeps it uh, keeps it looking silver for at least a year. Let's see how that pans out. That'd be interesting, eh? So this is what the inside of the concrete board now looks like uh, with a primer on it. Obviously, it's not painted, so it's like a creamy colour. So we're actually going to get that painted. This is what it looks like when it's not. But as you can see, everywhere, it's just bent. It's never straight. I think it's because it's so heavy and as they stock it obviously it just sits bent and it stays bent so we were actually going to replace the whole back piece of here with a moisture resistant mdf to make that a bit better to fix with but because we've actually got the support fixings at the top here and here we can actually use the screws and bed through two sides so that's good and because the screws are quite long they'll come through the back bit underneath there which isn't an issue we won't even see them so that's the plan so far 
Um, obviously the other thing we've got to do, which once we finish this, is to get these two bits put on here and the other bits around the other side as well. It is two and a bit, so there's gonna be a cut, which is awful. Um, but anyway, I think you'll agree, you know, it, it, as much as it, it's not needed, it does bring a little bit more color into it, which does help. So hopefully once we've done that bit, it'll actually uh, finish it off and um, give us a nice look. Um, so anyway, Sherman's around somewhere, spraying and cleaning. He's done the shower already. He's, he's moving around the building and doing maintenance as we speak. Um, and obviously we're just gonna crack on with that. It won't be a massively meaty video today. So, um, but anyway, I'll update you on the barbecue and uh, show you it's finished state when we finished it and uh hopefully today you might be able to do the first steak on it that would be good okay we're at two o'clock five past two the sun is still absolutely beaming trying to move underneath the shade so we don't actually cook ourselves okay the actual fascia is done we're just working on the letter box so let me spin it around let me show you what it looks like okay there she is so the first part of obviously covering something up to make it look pretty oh you're right um so uh this bit is going to land up being the first part of the cut in here that will go in here so we're just making the actual uh the base plate that goes in here then i'm gonna have to find some form of bracket that goes on here that this just clips into something that obviously doesn't melt um as you can see we'll have a sort of a two mil three mil gap either side and we'll have that we'll run that all the way along and there's the bits waiting to go in so yeah let me know in the comments below what you think i'm actually thinking about setting this up on the island for the guys downstairs you know just trying to help them out make some money i think it's well worth doing you can't get anything like this on the island it's not hard to make i so say we do think do need to change potentially the actual material itself i think marine marine board or uh, moisture resistant mdf is probably the way forward um the only issue is obviously this but again it doesn't have to have a barbecue on it then it can can be pizza you know a shelf for a pizza oven and a desk mounted barbecue um, but anyway this obviously looks great just this isn't going to last very long in the salt uh, but the rest of it looks okay obviously we're going to pull all the bits off at some stage uh, not that this is going to be the finished surface as i say corian's going to run all the way up here all the way along we do have the corian sink don't forget that's going to be mounted in here where we're going to mount it i'm not too sure um, i would say probably well i'd probably say here with a top here but i say the sink there and maybe the draining board element over that side so anyway but that's that again that's corian so that will sink underneath you'll cut the actual hole out in the corian top and then you glue the actual sink into the base itself and then lower the whole thing in um but yeah apart from the doors obviously which are still waiting on chased again for the third or fourth time today so hopefully we'll get some feedback at some stage on the material for the doors they're already cut obviously we just need to make sure we get the color match um, and get them painted so that's what we're waiting on um, and that's where we are so i'll probably give you a finish up because obviously we will try and finish this by the close of play today so once we've actually got the little letterbox done we'll put it in there and you can have a quick look and let us know what you think but other than that i'm pretty much done for the day um that's flying out the corner over there but anyway i'll uh, i'll check in with you once it's finished don't forget give me some comments below and if you uh, if you can the thumbs up would be greatly appreciated thank you Okay, 20 past five, done for the day. As you can tell by the hair, it's been one of those days. Okay, so we still have to get the, uh, the little brackets that will hold this in. As you can see, it will sit about there. So there'll be a slight gap around it, but that will enable us to take the back out and uh, access the grease. So that's all done, looking pretty cool. And then we've also finished this off as well. So again, not exactly how I'd like it because you can't dictate where these end and start. So it makes it look as if it's a big wide piece. The only thing we could do is cut into that like we did here. We cut into it and it became a lighter brown. So it just breaks up a little bit. But anyway, apart from corner uh, pieces, which don't really work, anyway, it's on. So, you know, didn't have to do it. Didn't need to be done. But I think it does add a little bit of colour to the patio area. So fingers crossed it will hold up and um, you all agree it looks okay. Let me know in the comments below if you don't mind. Let me know your thoughts. Um, tomorrow the air conditioning guys are potentially coming in and doing the, uh, the ducks. So if they do, I'll film that so you can see what they're up to. They're talking about putting a 14 inch duct through the middle. Whereas I'd rather them actually um, board out the actual inside. So it's the actual size of the hole itself. I don't want any restriction. 
Um, obviously, we've got a restriction anyway in the hole coming in, but I'd rather it come in and then open up. So I'll talk to them about that. Um, and then once they've actually done that, then we're going to be boarding, plaster boarding the front um, and then finishing off at least this north side. That is the north side. Um, just so we can get that boarded. Then we've got to wait for the two sheets to turn up. So um, hopefully within reason, DIY for now, for the next week at least, it's going to be over once we've actually finished the column in there. Then I'm going to go and play some golf, I think. But anyway, thanks for watching. Give me some comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will check in with you guys at some stage later on next week. Take care.